Age versus survivability. There seems to be a tendency in human nature to overestimate the amount of change that we can make in the world. And a lot of such and as a result, a lot of situations that we think initially we're gonna be able to change, we just wind up being able to survive. And I just wanted to put a couple of uh, thoughts on this uh, topic. Um, I'm not sure the names of the bias biases, but a couple of the biases related to this is that we tend to overestimate and have too much confidence in our own abilities and have too little uh, confidence in the abilities of others or, by extension, the marketplace. So, for example, the best... Uh, I read something that the best uh, traders in history have about a 53% um, uh, success rate. So they're, they, they, these are traders that they're right about 53% of the time and wrong 47% of the time. Obviously, just flipping a coin would be 50-50. So if you're one of the best, you're just, you know, slightly better than average. And so basically, the, the amount of difference between people is, is not that great. I mean, if the really bad ones do maybe 47 and the really great ones do 53. So why do we overestimate our own abilities? I, I believe there's a multitude of factors, but uh, I think the primary psychological that it's a scary world. Like if you know that, you're, that your chance of success is going to be somewhere between 47 and 53 percent and that everyone else basically has the same probabilities, there might be a little bit less, a little bit more based upon how good you are and you know that even if you try your best and study your hardest and do everything that you write you know you might go up from 51 to 52 or 50 you know and that you know you have to basically be working all the time even to stay where you are because everybody else is working and so competitive it's an overwhelming sense of anxiety to kind of recognize that so a psychological mechanism um you know they say denial is not just a river in africa but um is to deny, to say, oh, I'm really great. Like if you ask people to estimate what their probability of success is, um, it's much higher than what it turns out to be in, in many cases. If you ask people, are, they, are you better than average at this? You know, 50% sh should say yes, because 50% are better than average, but many more than 50% say they are above average in a variety of capabilities. So there's a human tendency to believe that we can do better than we can do and that uh, we have more... Uh, effect than what other people do, and there's a corresponding tendency to think that other people have less effect than they do when they have more in a situation relative to us. And so the net result of these tendencies is that we expect to make change in a lot of areas where we can't really make that much change, but we wind up just surviving uh, the situation rather than actually changing it. And um, one quote that comes to mind that I think applies to this a lot is that um, you know, sometimes we think that, um, uh, sometimes we ask life to change our circumstances, but sometimes uh, life uses our circumstances to change us. So just related to that, I think that, um, you know, rather than thinking that we're always going to be able to change everything in the world, perhaps, you know, if we're strong enough psychologically, it's better to realize that, yeah, we do live in an anxiety, uh, if we think of it that way, uh, world in the sense that we can't really control a lot of things, but Maybe we should just, you know, be willing to recognize that and just do what we can within that. And uh, by being more realistic, um, then uh, we may actually, in some sense, improve our odds. Even if we feel more anxiety, we're actually improving our odds because when you're more realistic, uh, when you define problems realistically, you have more of a better chance of uh, actually solving them and making progress on them.